Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to the, today's reading. Today being actually two days, Monday and, and Tuesday, and it's December 4th and 5th, both together, Monday, Tuesday, 2023, and the reading is for the, everybody, for the whole collective, for each and every one of us. I hope you all enjoy it, and let us begin. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish happy birthdays and a glorious day for those of you celebrating December 4th and 5th. I wish you a happy birthday. And those of you celebrating anniversaries, again, I wish you the best of the best and a beautiful, excellent birthday. Uh, sorry, <laughs> not birthday, anniversary, happy anniversary. And for everybody that's here, all my dear viewers, I welcome you with an open heart and I wish you best of the best and a lot of blessings for today, tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday. Let's see what are important factors for all of us to know for today. Oops, and starting with the first one, it's Cupid. Hmm. Cupid, the angel of love. Very beautiful. Okay, let's talk about Cupid. It seems to me that Cupid is going to be in the air, especially now with the whole day season. I can imagine love and romance is going to be flowing everywhere. It says, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love, li your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this awake reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love and all of its glorious aspects. So for those of you who are single, prepare to fall in love. For those of you who are already in relationships, the love is just going to be booming and revitalized again. Beautiful message. Now let's see the sacred forest, what it has for us, for the collective. And we have trust, trust in your intuition, trust in the oracle, trust in this, in me, the oracle, the seer, or the messages that are coming to you more than anything else. I'm just a deliverer of these messages. So trust what I am delivering to you. Trust in what is being said to you. Trust in what you're seeing. Trust in your higher self if it's showing you things. And you will be able to overcome a challenge. One challenge is going to be removed from your life. Just have the faith and trust. And I think the guidance is going to be coming naturally for you. Four major impacts for everyone. For Monday and Tuesday. December 4th and 5th for the collective. And we have what a beautiful beginning, the star. The star is all about nurturing power, being nurtured and exceptionally favored. It is about giving you one of your greatest and oldest wishes, something you wanted for the longest time. Now it's going to be granted, so prepare for that. And abundance of support and happiness coming your way and resolutions. Now we have the two of swords. Wow, talking about resolutions. With the two of swords, unfortunately, it's it's a it's a situation where you've reached an impasse. There are no resolutions. There's only a very painful truth that's there and it has been there, but you've been den in denial and not wanting to see it. Ultimately, this truth is going to remove the blindfold and you will get to see the truth. And what you will discover is that you'll find it very hard to move forward from a situation because the truth is going to be constantly at you, letting you know that this is a situation that has no resolution. I feel like it could be uh, to do with uh, connection, to do with air energies and water energies. Air energies, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, those of you that have air within you or those of you have water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So it could be both united. When you mix air with water, it doesn't do well. Okay, have a look at your general reading and it's your general reading that is going to clarify and explain everything to you. Have a look at that uh, under your star sign. Now, the next one, a time for freedom, a cycle of freedom, a period where you are going to be free from all cares and worries. It's coming and you are going to be released completely. The next one, emotional fulfillment and someone very caring and considerate. I feel like some of you could be falling in love with a water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They might have water energy in them. I feel like uh, a lot of water energy are going through soul searching and trying to reach a certain goal. I feel like some water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, are going to be helped and supported by the guardian angels and reaching to... Uh, a major reward for a job well done. I also feel here that there could be someone of water energy helping you quite uh, considerably. Scorpio Cancer Pisces again, I keep saying. <laughs> 
because I've got to say that a lot of people don't know when I say water energy. It's so hard for them to know who they are, what they are. What you don't see happening and coming yet, perhaps because of this denial, as you can see, the Two of Swords has a blindfold on it. So there is a little bit of denial. Um, you will ultimately find that things will fall apart and you are going to be feeling unhappy, uh, emotionally unhappy. And that is just to get you to the next level, to get you over this and prepare you for what's coming. And what's coming is going to be, I'll take one more, what's coming is going to be perhaps someone of Earth energy, Earth being Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, someone that's going to help you, support you, reach your goal. That is also a possibility. Now, let's have a look at important factors for everyone. We have, oh wow, the golden heart. That is gorgeous. I'll tell you what this is all about. And we've got the f the, the cup. The, the golden, this is perfect. I shall put it over here. The heart is getting exactly what you love. What you need, what you love, maybe not what you need, rather what you love, you are going to get ultimately exactly what you love in every area of your life that isn't doing well. So especially this area, emotional fulfillment, that you're not happy or a situation that's causing you a little bit of unhappiness, a truth that is showing you like this is going to come to an end. All that is happening and you will ultimately um, get exactly what you love. Emotional spending may be in the process of loss and going through some issues. Emotional spending may be going through um, putting uh, money together with someone, joint um, accounts, joint finances. You are being supported with a golden heart, supports there all the way. This is also about careers that you might be thinking about, considering something to do with guidance, helping others, tour guides, counseling, healing. Um, but you are ultimately going to have the job that you love also. Just like everything else that you love, you will get. So that's beautiful. And it's going to come very handy when you're feeling unhappy and emotionally. Uh, actually, I've just got to bring this back a little bit so that you can see when I'm talking. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. This wasn't shown. This one here when I was, I was saying this uh, where you're feeling unhappy. That's going to change. Okay. Now, the, f uh, the golden cup is a beautiful... Uh, message about prosperity overflowing prosperity abundance is coming and you will see everything being fulfilled very nurturing power around you uh, perhaps even you know um, starting your own business making a lot of money being quite fulfilled with what you're doing um, and careers that are to do with business taking care of business fulfillment um, nurturing Careers that are very nurturing, into nurturing, to healing. There was also here counseling, healing, nurturing altogether. But most of all, it's about overflowing prosperity. That's more than anything else. Okay. So that's that one. And let's see what else you need to know. Truth. Joining in. That's I'll tell you what that is in a moment. And then um, taking in the next step. What is it called? Oh, yes. Um, take the next step now. Taking the next step now. Taking action now. And some of you will be joining. Joining a society, a community, joining something you love, doing something you love, being part of a group, being part of a team, being part of something wonderful. So now's the time to take the first step. If you've been thinking, should I join? Should I do this? Should I? And not sure? Go ahead and do it. This is the best time. We're going to take two more messages. From these two cards, from this uh, deck, sorry. One, karmic relationship, and one more. Okay, so, oh, wow. Mm, how amazing. When we were talking about being um, in a situation where you're in denial, and the truth, the swords are the truth, are going to reveal something to you. They are going to reveal that you are in a karmic relationship that is um, overwhelming you. You're not finding any resolutions. You're feeling a certain kind of turmoil. There's resentment. There's anger. There's lessons to be learned. And you're letting go and lo loving yourself, taking care of yourself and letting go. You're not happy where you are, so you're leaving. Another factor here, some of you are running. They're not just leaving. Running from a situation where a relationship has become too much. Somebody's too codependent on you, perhaps. There's fear of intimacy. There's excessive intimacy, maybe. It's becoming too much. Listening to ego, taking care of yourself and leaving. 
This happens when you are in the wrong relationship or a relationship that you have been in denial in and you finally wake up and you realize, you know, this is, this is too much for me. Let's go for the next one. And the next message is give your relationship a chance. It is all, it says, um, work on your partnership because it's really worth it. Perhaps is that what they're saying? Is it worth it? Let's see. Give your relationship a chance. Um, work on your partnership. Okay, so it needs working on. Perhaps you still are working on it. That's why you're still there. Until you realize maybe it has no resolutions. You are destined for a soulmate. And I feel like something is ending for you to reach the level of soulmate. Calling in your soulmate, your affirmations, your visualizations. Whatever you've been thinking about soulmate, this is a time. And I feel like you are going to get your soulmate. Um, somebody that is very much connected with you and you'll work well together you're in harmony together harmony is the most important factor in any relationship so you are going to get what you need let's see further it says embrace through each other you will find the missing pieces through each other and this could be very well about your soulmate finding each other in the midst of um, being with each other very important that you look at your general reading uh, just your star sign that way you'll know more specifics as to you know um, who we're talking about and, and you'll see the um, the star signs and the people that you are going to be dealing with or meeting in, in December and what are their star sign combination you'll know what we're talking about now what I'm going to do is start clarifying the cards I think we've done everything yes let's have a look at the star let's see what the star is all about for everyone Okay, wow. It is about this situation or this re relationship or whatever you might call it. it for some, it will be a, a relationship. For some, it's a situation. You are taking a stand. You are putting your foot down. You're fighting for what you believe in. You're not happy where you are. This situation is going to reach an impasse. The truth is going to release you from it very soon. And deep inside, you know that you're not happy. You are going to set boundaries. You're setting boundaries and, and fighting for what you believe. And I, I think... With the um, with the star, I feel like it's going to help you reach those boundaries and get what you truly believe in, or or perhaps take you to the next level. Uh, the star being your wish, your wish might be waking you up and and helping you take some put some boundaries and take a stand and defend what you believe in. But ultimately, you need to know that you are going to be released from this situation. Why I say that is because you are going to get you are getting exactly what you love. You're getting what you love and what you need. So this is something you really don't need because it's reached an impasse. It is something to do with your past, your childhood perhaps that you're ling um, longing for. But um, you, there's a lot of rewards, a lot of rewards for you, a lot of happiness, a great victory, and there's an earth energy that's coming into your life after you leave. After you leave, I'll put, take that out. After you leave, no, I won't take it out. I'll leave it. After you leave, there is an earth energy that you may be destined for. This could be your soulmate. Earth energy being Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They'll have a lot of earth in them. And you will um, do well. You will do well with this person. Now, let's have a look at this two of swords that doubled up in your reading. Wow, you are going to be celebrating. Oops, the celebration card just fell. But we need, we need more the two of swords let's let's have a look the truth about the two of swords this situation when it's ending you're leaving you're leaving and you know it's amazing before they were showing an empowerment you are going to be in power they showed that you're leaving and they showed uh, that i didn't take out there were too many i didn't want to take more than usual because i thought they'll come out here you're leaving in search of more happiness but once you're leaving you are celebrating that's the amazing thing the celebration for this uh, ending of this chapter it could be a karmic chapter there's karma there a learning lesson maybe but ultimately right after that there's a lot of money coming which is really interesting because celebrating overflowing abundance and i'm um, getting exactly what you love um, emotional spending you are going to be celebrating something big there could be a, a windfall this could be a lottery or a windfall this could be a jackpot a big jackpot that you might win this could be inheritance 
big inheritance that you want to protect and you know there'll be people fighting for our rights but you'll be an authority or this could it's unexpected money out of nowhere it comes and it's a big amount where you want to think of what to do how to put it into foundations building buying buying a home a condo whatever business whatever you want this is really big money and I feel like you are going to get exactly what you love out of this. This is going to help you reach there. And then there is a lot of abundance. You are going to be having overflowing prosperity and abundance. My dear viewers. So have a look at your money your money reading for this. And see what is it that's coming here that you're celebrating so much. And I'll just take these down. The kind of relationship we talked about. Okay, so that's what's coming after this. After leaving this situation. Not now. Now you're in denial about it and you're still there. But after, after leaving the situation, you are going to be leaving because we. I saw the Six of Swords and also we saw the Eight of Cups leaving. Now, let's go to this freedom. Once you leave, you've got this freedom, a new cycle of freedom, freedom from cares and worries. Let's see what this is all about. Why would you be so free? You're relocating, some of you moving, and money's coming in. To be free free from cares and worries that means you might be moving just to, to a better position in life you're relocating to a better position and a lot of money is coming in as you can see money is coming in big time that's why you've got this freedom so money is there and you are getting exactly what you love and celebrating something magical so big money could be coming to the point where it gives you a lot of uh, financial freedom and that's going to be of course worth celebrating because you are going to be in a very incredible position having bounty of money to do so much with, even to help those who are in need, like this here, those who are in need, doing charities, helping others, but celebrating a very happy outcome, an amazing outcome. Okay, so a sense of freedom, a feeling of freedom, and you are going to be loving your freedom. There are hidden matters that are coming to light. You are going to see your path clearly with the moon, and you're leaving. And it's right after you leave, there it is again. There's going to be a dramatic rise in your money. The, the leaving is showing you the timing. It's the time that you leave. You're leaving a situation after seeing the truth and the truth is brought to the open. Hidden matters are released and revealed and you can see them, understand them. You know where you're at. You know where you're heading and you leave towards a better situation, a better life. It is right then money is coming. A dramatic rise in your money. Major dramatic rise. Again, I'll have to hold them up so you can see the, the magnitude of all this. Money coming and overflowing prosperity again. And getting exactly what you love. Getting what you love. And of course, celebrating all this. A dramatic rise in your, in your life and the overflowing prosperity and getting what you love. Being very comfortable. But another important thing which I'd like to point out, very important, exceptionally important, is the fact that, I'll just remove this here, the fact that you could be celebrating something, someone wonderful, embracing someone incredible, you know, meeting someone spectacular. Why did I say that? There was a reason, a very important reason. What happened? Oh, yes, this one here. So... I see the both of them are pentacles, earth energy. There could be someone wonderful that's coming into your life. You could be getting exactly what you love, not what you need, what you love from someone of earth energy. And that could be part of it too. And that person could be your soulmate, embracing each other through each other, finding the missing pieces and, you know, getting your soulmate, getting exactly what you love. And it could be an earth energy, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. They might have very strong earth energy. Have a look at your... Um, at your general reading for your star sign and you'll see who this person is you'll know exactly what this is all about and how it impacts you now what i'm going to do is go further into the queen of cups i feel like this is to do with water energy i'm seeing water energy here very strong i'm seeing air energy very strong uh, water being scorpio cancer pisces air air energy the swords being libra Aquarius Gemini so we've got earth there without a doubt earth taking over the situation I feel like this earth person is coming into your life who's going to be very very supportive 
and it's going to be someone that's going to uplift you to the next level. But I feel like this relationship or this issue that's happen happening where it's ending and leaving, I feel it's connected to water energies and to people that have air energy in them. All right, so let me see what this water energy is all about. The Queen of Cups. Oh, for the collective. Look at that. Have a look at that. See how it came up and it's landing right on my hand. And this is the air energy I'm talking about. Um, and air energy, Scorpio Cancer. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, sorry. Uh, in connection to the water energy. Do you remember I said it's water energy and air energy? I feel like it's water energy. On air. It is exactly what I said. It is something that's quite overwhelming. It is something that's been quite suffocating. And it's something coming to an end. The Ten of Wands means something that's been overwhelming too much and now it's coming to an end. And again, it is connected to air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And I feel like this could be a, a karmic ending. It was a, relation, a relationship to learn from. It will teach you lessons and it will be reaching to less uh, to a uh, to a level of turmoil where you're actually letting go and loving yourself because uh, there isn't no matter how much you might be in connection to this person and loving this person you've got to love yourself because you're not happy you're hurting where you are you're not happy so um, it is coming to an end and the truth is being directed and and told to you by someone perhaps uh, I didn't see what was coming oh they just took them out like that wow okay now let's see what the chinese cookies want to tell us we got one i usually wait for them i don't know why i did this today usually i um shuffle and i let it go out but let them come out themselves but this time i didn't i don't know why it says tough and trying times let me see how to do this Tough and trying times ahead. Think long term and make decisions accordingly. So don't make decisions only about today or tomorrow. Think long term. Avoid negative people at all costs. At all costs. Very important. Now, signs. The signs are going to be showing you just like the crystal cave, which is all about the signs. Trust in the oracle. The signs are going to be showing you. Again, this repeated here. It says your future positive direction, and I'm saying that again, positive direction, will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. And that's why we've got the oracle and we've got the moon. The moon is the main one that shows you that what your path is and where you're heading. And it clears all that confusion. You get to see exactly where you're going. Everything comes to light. Everything is clear in front of you. Everything is illuminated. And hidden matters come to light too. So you can see the truth and know exactly where you're heading and what pitfalls and what's standing. What's been in your path that when the darkness we don't see, the moon finds the way for us. It shows us the way. So you will be enlightened and you will know exactly where you stand. The most important factor here today is that I need you to know is that not only you're getting what you love, which could be a soulmate or someone incredible, but um, also <clears throat> Cupid. Cupid is here too. Not only you've got love, getting exactly what you love, but Cupid is there. And someone wonderful, Earth energy, very strong Earth energy. There could be air energy. No, the air energy is coming to an end. It's Earth energy. And I feel like this earth energy is someone that will have a big impact in your life. I feel like this is going to be your soulmate, someone that you are going to last with long term. So Cupid, I didn't talk about it. I talked about everything else, but not Cupid. I hope you enjoyed the reading. My dear viewers, I wish you a lot of love and light. Please give me a thumbs up. But the most important support I want from everyone, which I'm asking lately until everybody gets to know, is these videos are becoming a bit longer than anticipated. And I am in need of your support by watching them till the end or letting them run till the end if you get bored after 20 minutes and you don't want 10 minutes or you don't want to watch anymore please let them run till the end try to watch them till the end or let them run till the end without stopping them that is the best support that you can do for me that's all i ask of you and i always wish you the best of the best in everything you do my dear viewers thank you all for being here lots of love and light to you all namaste